Hello and thanks for watching. In this video, I'm going to go through the procedure for aligning the engine to the frame on these Harley Davidson bagger type motorcycles. This is the procedure that I picked up from Jake at Glide Pro. He's a really good guy, and I'm putting all Glide Pro stuff in my bike this winter, so I'm going to go ahead and talk about his procedure. The whole name of the game here is to adjust the upper and the front stabilizer links on the motor. The upper link is down under the gas tank and it connects the top of the motor to the frame and it controls the vertical alignment of the motor. The front stabilizer is down behind the front wheel and it controls the horizontal alignment of the motor. So ultimately what we're doing is setting both of those so that we get correct tracking on the bike. There's a few items you're going to need in order to do this that you might not have lying around. First thing is one of these digital levels. I got this at Home Depot. I think it was about $40. If you're made out of money and you don't mind blowing it, you can get three of them, but really you can get by with one just fine. Next thing are these levels that have a laser beam that comes out the end. I got these at Menards and they were about $18 a piece. Next is a couple of 2 inch by 3 inch pieces of aluminum square stock. The ones I used are 24 inches long. I found a local fabricator that had some of this stuff in stock and got it for a couple of bucks. You'll need a couple of simple clamps. I just had these lying around, but you could probably get them at Harbor Freight or someplace like that for four or five bucks a piece. You're also going to need some rubber bands. Turn on the lasers, then rotate the head so that the beam is pointing the correct direction. Then take some rubber bands and attach the lasers to your bars, making sure you're holding them nice and flat against the bar. We're going to adjust the front stabilizer first, so disconnect the upper stabilizer so it doesn't interfere while we're adjusting the front. Now it's time to jack up your bike. I like using these little scissors jacks, and be sure to put it far enough back so the rear wheel is the one that comes off the ground. Also, don't have it sticking out like this. What you want is to have it flush up against the right side of the bike so that it doesn't interfere with the laser beams. Once the rear wheel's off the ground, go ahead and use the standard procedure to align the rear axle. I use the twist method to start with the belt, then set the axle position using a couple of pieces of welding rod or a tape measure, whatever you've got. Go through all of that, get it as perfectly square as you can. Once you're all done, just uh, tighten down your uh, axle nut, get it torqued to spec, and you're on to the next step. Use the clamps to install the aluminum bars to your brake discs. Then put your level over the frame rails on the top of the bike and shim whichever side of the bike you need to until the level reads square. Put the level on the front disc, then adjust the steering side to side until the level reads square. Then look at the lines that the two lasers are throwing on the floor. Then adjust the front stabilizer to pull the front of the motor either to the left or the right until you're satisfied that the lines are perfectly parallel. Go back and forth until you get it exactly right. Then tighten down the jam nuts and the front one's done. Reconnect your top stabilizer. Then put the level on top of the bike again to make sure it stayed square. Then put the level on the rear disc and see how it's doing. Now the way these bikes are made, there's really no way it can be off by much at all. Mine landed almost perfectly on the money right from the start. If yours is off, go ahead and adjust the top stabilizer as much as you need until you like where the rear wheel's at. Then tighten down the jam nuts and this thing is done. And that is all there is to that. Thanks again to Jake at Glide Pro for all of his help. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description to his original video as well as to his website. He's got lots of good stuff, so check it out. If you've got any ideas about how I could do this better, be sure to let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks again for watching. I'm looking forward to getting this thing back on the road this summer. We'll see you there.